I'm really passionate about merging all of my interests ranging from performance to technology, primarily working in motion capture and live motion capture performance art, and also extended reality. So any type of virtual reality tools, I try to incorporate them into my practice. My parents got our first house computer around the time when I was like seven or eight. I began to research figure skating and I just became very obsessed. I also began to become very interested in technology and primarily in just making things. I've always been very crafty. I thought that I wanted to become an engineer and then I realized that that was not necessarily the path for me. It's a lot of like calculations and I just wanted to make things and you know make mistakes along the way. Just the fact that I could break things and sort of see what happens was really interesting. The first project that I worked on while I was at New Wing two years ago in the extended realities track was movement portraits. Movement portraits are, or at least I define them as this way to really talk about the movement histories and movement journeys of all of the performers that I work with through motion capture data and performance. I started work with the Black Movement Library while I was at iBeam. I was annoyed with the lack of representation of Black movement in current motion capture and character-based model databases. I became really interested in what it means to really foster and build a community of people who are not just, you know, using our data, but are really cultivating spaces, not only for our movements and for our bodies, but also for our stories to stay attached to those movements and to those bodies. I began to host different workshops about surveillance. What does it mean for me to be appropriating that technology as something that is um, not necessarily capturing us, but witnessing us and holding us and holding our stories. That sort of brings me into the this current project that I'm working on called The Unseen. I've been working on a documentary about black figure skaters who taught themselves how to figure skate in the 1940s and 50s and they created this group called Harlem on Ice. My great great uncle was one of those skaters and what's so amazing about this story is that when I think about his legacy and how that also translates to me as a black figure skater, so often our histories get erased and sometimes it reflects as if, oh, black people, they don't figure skate, or black people, they're not technologists. No, like we're very much everywhere doing everything. And we've always been, you know, doing everything everywhere. I actually showed the first iteration of The Unseen here at Onyx, which is essentially a collaborative workspace with New Inc. and the NASA's foundations. They have a motion capture studio, they have virtual reality gear, and it's just been so helpful to finally have a space that has all of the tools and all of the resources that I need as a new media artist. Another thing that's been helpful to me is the mentorship, to have access to people <laughs> who like work in these same softwares as you. You can get that sort of feedback and collaboration, which is just hard to come by anywhere else. I'm really grateful for this opportunity to just like play and start to integrate physical computing, which is something that I've always been interested in, but haven't necessarily had time to dive more deeply into. I'll also be working with facial capture, so it'll be the first time that I'm working with that. What excites me a lot about demo is that it really offers a space for experimentation to return to this breaking of objects and, and technologies and sort of seeing how that can be reestablished into my practice. To have the space and the, and the resources to be able to do that, I think is really exciting.